I am here at the Nordic Semiconductor Stand here at Electronica 2022, and they are announcing something really quite exciting. You probably know Nordic for their uh, Bluetooth low energy products and the amazing little kits. I mean, we talked about the Thingy 91 and the Thingy 53 on Electromaker so much, you're probably sick of us talking about them, but they're really awesome kits. You should totally get one. However, today we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi because they have a new Wi-Fi 6 system on chip coming out very, very soon. I'm here with Johannes, who's going to give us a little bit of information about this chip. And yeah, uh, what would you like to tell us about this chip today? Yeah, so my name is Ioannis Kleropoulos. I'm a technical product manager for the Wi-Fi product line in Nordic Semiconductor. So as you said, we have recently announced our first Wi-Fi product, NRF 7002. So today at Electronica 2022 is the first uh, public trade show where we actually publicly show our demos with uh, NRF 7002 in action. So NRF 7002 is a dual band, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, an ultra low power Wi-Fi 6 companion IC. So it is a companion IC that is uh, offering Wi-Fi 6 capabilities to another system on chip, microprocessor or micro microcontroller host. So we have to probably do that again. So what we show here is our first development board with Wi-Fi on board. So you see here the NRF 7002 IC, and the next to it is the NRF 5340 Bluetooth Low Energy SOC over by Nordic Semiconductor acting as a host. Yeah. Our IC here runs the Phi layer and medium access control layer of the 8211 Wi-Fi stack, while the remaining of the networking stack, including the TCP IP layer and upper layers of the networking stack and the application, runs on the 5340 host. Sure, okay. Yeah, and, and, and just for those who may not be so familiar with the difference, Wi-Fi 6 brings uh, a number of advantages when it comes to low power, doesn't it? So uh, what makes this, uh, in, in the past, for example, running any kind of Wi-Fi chip was always a bit of a problem because it would take a huge amount of power, very difficult to run them off battery power. But what makes this one so different? Why is this such a good solution for low energy uh, Wi-Fi usage? So uh, low power and power saving mode is, exist in uh, Wi-Fi for quite a while. Okay. It has been present in older, older versions of Wi-Fi uh, specifications. Okay, yeah. But uh, with Wi-Fi 6, what is introduced is a new feature for power saving called target wake time. Mm -hmm. And this allows devices that they need to operate in low power mode to have much longer duty cycle periods. So in that case, those devices can be connected, associated with access points, but they can sleep, they can put to sleep longer times, and they can save energy while still being connected to the access point. And that means they can have, they can be in products with, uh, that are battery operated, and those products can have much longer battery lifetimes. Excellent. Okay, well, I mean, this is a, it's, it's a really exciting thing as someone who's been following Nordic products for years, and of course, there's been a huge amount of Bluetooth low energy uh, products from you guys. Um, this Wi Fi 6 chip, as you say, you're just kind of showing it to the public for the first time now, and I know that this is a preview development board, um, but uh, when are people likely to be able to get their hands on development kits and start working with this? So, we are launching the product very soon, including the development kit. Okay. And we already have software available in our NRF Connect SDK, okay. uh, which includes the Wi-Fi driver components and a lot of examples. For example, we have Matter over Wi-Fi examples in our SDK, where customers and developers can look at the code that is available, get familiar with that, and in very soon we're going to launch our development kit, and you will be able to buy that and run and test those examples for yourself. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me today. It's a kind of exciting time. And yeah, thank you so much. Have a great conference. Thank you.